Today we are speaking with Moshe Patel, Senior Director of the C4I Systems, BU Elbit Elisra. How does the command and control help to efficiently use the four-tier rocket and missile defense system? Central Command and Control actually received information from a lot of sensors, either if it is uh, IR sensors, RF sensors, satellite uh, data, intelligence data. The command and control need to digest all this information and actually to produce and to develop one common picture. With, with, with this one common picture, actually the decision is now what will be the cheapest inter interceptor in order to intercept the, 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 the threat according the fact that this interceptor can do the work. So the command and control system need to decide really if they want to protect against this threat. For example, if this threat is coming to the sea or is coming to not populated area, then you are not going to uh, waste an inter interceptor. But in case you want to intercept, intercept this interceptor, you produce your, uh, your plan, your uh, protection plan, you decide what will be the best and the cheapest inter interceptor to do the work, and you launch it. And while you launch it, of course, uh, you uh, escort the interceptor until the interception. You, the command and control need to give information to the interceptor, fresh inf information to the interceptor of what is going on. In the past, Israel received help from the U.S. with the form of anti-missiles. Can this command and control system communicate between the two systems? Since all our programs actually were developed together with the U.S. funds and U.S. help, so from the beginning, from day one, when we develop our command and control, we implemented the capability to do interoperability with U.S. systems. So we were gathered together with the U.S. engineers and uh, together we work on the interface and how really to connect. And uh, this connection actually was certified, was tested, along a lot of exercises, a lot of flight tests, and was proven, and it is operational. Two years from now, we'll have the Aero 3 long-range interceptor, and the fact that it has a greater range than the Aero 2 system. Is that a problem for the interceptor? Not at all, because the command and control working on communication, working on data, and the development of this interceptor was uh, uh, coordinately together with uh, much better uh, sensors, much better uh, picture, so there isn't any limitation of uh, the command and control in order actually to launch this kind of interceptor. Thank you for joining us.